Welcome back guys. Today we are going to run a new Python library called PyTTSX3. It is a text-to-speech synthesis library which takes a text as input and gives the speech as output. The best part of this PyTTSX3 is it, it works offline. Unlike other text-to-speech libraries like GTTS and etc, our PyTTSX3 works offline because it uses local speech engines that are available on our machine and it is also compatible with Python 2 and 3 versions. So this is the all introduction about this PyTT SX3 library. Now let's see how to use this. First things first, we have to install this PyTT SX3 library. So to do that, open your terminal. You can just click Ctrl plus backticks in order to open this terminal. And now the command should be py install PyTT SX3. Since I already installed it, it's showing my requirement already satisfied. So install. Now let's work with it. So first we have to import our library. Import pyttsx3 as alias ts. You can name this as anything. Now we have to create an instance of this library in order to use it methods. There is a method called init in this PyTTSX library to create an instance of it. So let's say in order to make this instance, creating an instance, let's say ts.init. This will give us an instance of this library and we will store this instance in a variable called engine. So this engine is an instance of this PyTTSX library. So now we can use all the methods available in PyTTSX library using this instance called engine. You can name this anything. I gave it the name engine, you can give it anything. So now we created an instance. Now let's see how the speech synthesis works. Text to speech. There is a method called say in this PyTTSX library which will convert your text to speech. Engine dot say. and give the text whatever you want as a speech text to speech tutorial save the file open the terminal and let's run this python pytdsxlib.py you see the program didn't execute it the reason is because we have to use a method called run and wait engine dot run and wait. This method stops the execution at this line until and unless the text to speech conversion is completed this run and wait method will stop. The program will not end. So by using just this run and wait method we can wait until this speech conversion is done. So save this file and I'll rerun it. Text to speech tutorial. See that's the result. Text is converted into a speech. So these are some basic methods which we'll most often use and there are some properties to this text to speech library there are some properties like rate the speed at which the voice is spoken and volume amount of volume and voice and also different kinds of voices let's go through every one of these first let's see how to know what property is set right now and later that we'll see how to set the new properties to the existing properties so now let's see how to get properties how to get properties it's actually really simple all you have to do is engine dot there's a method called get property it takes an argument uh, the argument name is the property you want to know or you want to get let's say i want to know the rate property what is the current rate value of my engine Let's print this. And similarly, let's see another properties. Get property of voice and get property of volume 2. Save the file. Execute it. As you can see, first we have printed the rate property. The default rate is 200. And the voice is on my local machine. 
the voice is of David's voice means it's a male voice and the volume is full one the volume ranges from 0 to 1 and there's also another property called voices which will give the voices that are available on your local machine let's say engine dot get property of voices this particular thing this particular thing retains an array of voices or a list of voices so we have to store it in a variable or in a list let's say voices Or you can also destructure them like something like this voice one comma voice two you can either do this or you can either do this if you are using a variable you can just use voices of zero and voices of one something like this if you are destructuring the array right here and right here you can just use these variables so for now let's go with this array method Let's print the array. Print of voices. Let's comment this. See, we have been written a list of two elements or two voices. Let's iterate through this list. For voice in voices, print of voice save the file re-execute this see here we have two voices one is of david's voice which is a male voice that is available on my machine and one is of zira's voice a female voice that is available on my machine too you can see here right uh, the voice contains some properties called id the id of the voice and the name languages gender age and similarly for the second voice this id name languages and so on Previously, when we printed the voice property, we got the current voice property that is active on our machine. Uh, here, it's here. What is this? It's it's basically the ID. You can see here, right? David one one zero. The ID here. David one one zero. The ID of the voice. When you get the property of the voice, you will get the particular ID of that voice. So, from here, we will get the intuition that if we want to change the voice from David to Zira. We can simply change the IDs of the voices. That will do the thing. Let's try out this too. So this is the available voices on my system. Uh, voices is an array or a list which contains the voice of David and Zira. The voice of David is at index 0 and the voice of Zira is at index 1. The voice of David is at index 0 and voice of Zira is at index 1. Remember this one thing. So now let's comment out this code and copy this and paste here and comment this. Let's try this one more time. Save the file and re execute. Text to speech tutorial. As you can see, current we have a voice, voice of David. If you want to have the voice of Zira, you can just simply do engine dot set property. These are set property methods. You can change the properties of the existing properties using the set property methods. Engine dot set property. What do you want to change? What property do you want to change? I want to change the voice property to which voices of one. Voices of one indicates the Zira's voice. Zira's voice, and we have to allocate the ID. Voices of this is voices of zero and this is voices of one. Cool. And if you want to access the ID, you can just do voices of one dot ID. And to access voices, we have to uncomment this. So we are getting the voices and stored in the voices list, and we are changing the voice to zero's voice. That is voices of one. Just replacing the current ID with the zero's voice ID. So just by doing this, the voice will be changed to zero's voice. Text to speech tutorial. Text to speech tutorial. As you can see, for this particular code, 
which is above the set property voice method is spoken by the David and after setting the property the voice is set to Zira's voice, female voice. This is how you can change the voice and there are some other set property methods. We can also set the rate volume to engine dot set property of rate. How much do you want to change? The default rate value is 200. For now, I want it for 100. Half the speed. All right. After this, we'll just move this down and comment this. So this will be spoken slowly. That is half the speed of the actual speed. Let's also uncomment this so we can see the difference between this. Save the file and re-execute it. Text to speech tutorial. Text to speech tutorial. You can see that, right? When we execute in this code, it's saying it fast. But after setting the rate to half of it, that means 200 to 100, we have gotten it slowly. And similarly, you can also adjust the volume. Engine dot set property of volume. The default volume is 0 to 1. So you can set from the range of 0 to 1. Let's say I want to half the volume. I want to half the volume. I want to reduce the volume by half. So just do the same thing. Save the file and re execute it. The output will be for this, the volume will be 100%, and for this, the value will be 50%. That means 0.5. Re execute it. Text to speech tutorial. Text to speech tutorial. What it writes? And there's one more property called how to save the speech via file. Let's say mm, engine dot saved file. And here you will place the text you want to convert into a speech and then save it to your file. So you can reuse it anyway. So let's say mm, hello world universe galaxies. This is the text I want to convert into speech and I want to save it into a file called uh, xyz dot mp3 this will be string into so save the file re-execute this see guys we have no output here that means we have to use the run and wait method engine dot run and wait and after doing this uh, code will be successfully executed. Just save the file and raise to this. See, we have an xyz.mp3 here. And in that, we you will have the speech converted to this. Hello world, universe is galaxies. So guys, this is how the PyTTSX library works. Uh, today we have so many methods. Let's summarize this. First, we have imported the PyTTSX3 library STS and then created an instance of it called engine. And next, we use dot say method to convert the text to speech and the run and wait method is used to stop the code execution flow until and unless the particular text is converted into the speech. And next, we have seen some properties like rate, volume, voice and voices. How to get particular properties, the volume of particular property using get property method and the volume is in the range of 0 to 1. And next, we have found the voices that are on machine. I have David and Zira voices in my machine. And how to change the voices using the voice ID. And how to set properties like rate, volume and etc. And finally, we have seen how to save the particular speech to your file. So this is it for today guys. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe to the channel. And the next video will be coming very soon. Thank you. That's it for now. Bye.